Prepare for the TOEFL listening section with this sample lecture from an anatomy class. Listen to the lecture, answer some questions about it, then check your answers. If necessary, review the lecture to confirm your understanding. Subscribe for more practice lectures on a wide range of academic topics, covered in college and university classes. Today, our focus will be on bones, the rigid structures within the human body that provide structural support, enabling activities such as standing, running, and jumping. Let's start with why bones are so important. They're not just there to give you shape, they also protect your organs like your brain and heart. Plus, they're like a storage unit for important minerals your body needs to stay healthy. Okay, now let's look at what bones are made of. Think of them like a sandwich. On the outside, there's this hard layer called compact bone that's really strong. Inside, there's a spongy part that's more like a honeycomb, which helps keep your bones lightweight but still strong. Inside your bones, there are little cells called osteocytes. They're like the workers inside a factory, always busy making sure everything stays in good shape. And guess what? Your bones also have a special place called bone marrow where your blood cells are made. Now let's talk about how bones grow and stay healthy. You see, your bones are always changing, kind of like how a tree grows. There are some cells that build new bone, we call them osteoblasts, and others that clean up old bone, those are osteoclasts. It's like having a construction crew and a cleanup crew working together to keep your bones strong and healthy. Lastly, your bones help your body keep the right amount of calcium, which is super important for your muscles and nerves to work properly. They release calcium into your blood when your body needs it, kind of like a vending machine giving you a snack when you're hungry. So, bones are not just there for holding you up. They're like the superheroes of your body, protecting your organs, making blood cells, and keeping everything in balance. Pretty amazing, right? One, what is the primary function of bones in the human body? Two, which type of bone tissue forms the dense outer layer of bones? Three, what is the relationship between bone remodeling and maintaining bone integrity? Four. What is the function of red bone marrow? Five. What term is used to describe the tiny cavities where osteocytes reside within bone tissue? Six. What is the primary role of bone marrow in the human body? How'd it go? Were you able to answer the questions correctly? Share your score in the comments below. Like, comment, and subscribe for more TOEFL listening practice with lectures.